Hey everybody, welcome to the Coffee Comments Season 2. This is Mecca with your girl, Ryan. And we are excited to be back with you guys. We took a two-week hiatus just to get some things, you know, down for you guys. Some new topics. We have plenty, plenty, plenty new topics. We have, you know, guests that will be coming this season. We have, um... We revamped the Instagram yeah, Instagram, page. the Facebook. So, yeah, we have been working. It took two weeks. <laughs> but trust me, um, it's all for the better of you guys. So, tonight we are going to be talking about the friend word. Now, we all have friends that we probably grew up with and probably still are friends with. Um, and at that point, you are more like, fam, that's cousin, that's sis. You know, um, probably your auntie or whoever. But nowadays, it seems like this generation throws out friend, the word friend, um, very loosely. Just because we don't went to the club maybe three times or I went out of town to go see Bay, and, you know, I'll let you watch my dog for like two, three days. And all of a sudden, that's your friend. People don't use the word when, like, I was growing up. Yes, I'm still young, but when I was growing up, we always said associate, you know, and that's not to be shady, but that's just like, you are not a friend yet. You are not, you you're know, an acquaintance. you're an acquaintance, you're an associate, you're not at that friend level. So my first question of the night, Ryan, I'm going to ask you, and I hope our listeners are tuning in right now and, you know, come chat in with us because there's no power tonight. There's no power. I'm glad, but there's no power. Y'all should be listening to it. <laughs> so, yeah, um, write us here on Spreaker. Write us on Facebook and Instagram. So, I'm going to ask the question, Ryan. What is a friend to you? What was what does What is a friend to you, and what does the word mean to you? My personal definition of friends, I'm not going to go to West, Webster's, but my personal definition of a friend is somebody that is that I can rely on, a person that... I can be open and honest with, and they will be open and honest with me, and uh, loyal. That would be my definitions of friends. Cool beans. Cool beans. Um, so, yeah, guys, let me know what your definition is. Um, I would say my definition is really, um, I guess because my sign but at the same time anybody will want loyalty um my definition would be somebody that is more than a going out partner if i can only call you to turn up and to drink and do whatever we do that's literally that's not to me that wouldn't be a friend you're my go out buddy you're my acquaintance a friend is if i am going through something you know a family member died i'm going through a bad breakup or divorce or you know i'm about to lose Maybe my house or something like that. I know I can call on you for encouraging words. I know I can call on you to maybe we do have that relationship where we can lend each other money and, you know, pay each other back. Or if I do have children, you are stepping in to be kind of like help. You know, you're part of my village. That's something I, that's somebody I consider a friend along with the turn up stuff. But not only if I can only call you to turn up or, or if, you know, I'm calling you to tell you something great that happened in my life and you can't be there to celebrate with me or you just only want to hear good stuff when I call you. You know, you can't listen to me have a moment where you uplift me, then I really, I couldn't consider you a friend. That is very true. But we have all fallen into that that uh, circle of, you know... We hang out for a little bit, or we do this. We all have had that two second friend, and yeah. then when we get a little bit, we have our little you know party moments and whatnot, or social interactions. It's like, yeah, friend, high five and all over the place. Like, yes, <laughs> yes, right. But and then, the club, like you were saying, my best friend, <laughs> best friend best not friend. your best friend, <laughs> right? Got BFF all over the, your damn pictures from the night that y'all did go out, whatever. But um, but then, like you were saying, when it's time to get to the deeper stuff of everything, where's that friend at? So I think we all have fallen into that whole 
label and putting that stamp of, yeah, that's my friend, that's my friend. Yeah. I know personally I've had experience with people that, I mean, I'm, I can't lie, I used to be that type of person that's like, oh, if I hang out with this person and, you know, we have some kind of, you know, we have our fun times, but we do have those moments where we get to, you know, converse and talk about different you know, issues that's going on in our lives. And I'm quick to be like, okay, bam, you know, you talking to me, I'm talking to you. I was quick to label people friends. Right. But then, like, when serious shit popped off, it's like, hey, I'm, you know, calling you and having an event moment. They're like, oh, I'm busy. Wait yeah, minute, they, girl. The, all them friends that only want to talk about them and they don't want to hear or at least give advice and be like, oh, well, yeah, I'm going through this. So what you doing? Okay, so yeah, I'm going through the, 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 the. oh girl, well, hold, I'm gonna call you back because I'm I'm washing my car. I gotta, but then literally two days later they call it. Let me tell you what this nigga did though. Like he, da, 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 da. it's like okay, so we ain't never gonna talk about what. Okay, right. <laughs> I'm only here for you. This is not a two way street. <laughs> but I have a question for you, Miss Maka. Sure. Have you ever been? that uh I guess that two minute friend like or have you ever been in a situation where you felt like that person was treating you as a two minute friend like they will only call you for certain all the time (laughs) I'm being honest here like my family always say why you say you ain't got no friends I see such and such and that was because growing up in like middle school and high school believe it or not I was low-key bully and um I was always so hard up for friends. Like, even now, if you're my family member or if you are one of my friends, you always hear me like, oh, well, I wish I had this, that, and that. But I do appreciate the people that are here for me because I was, even though I am the oldest and I have two sisters and I did have a few friends, I was a loner. So I'm always watching TV like, I want a group of friends like girlfriends. Or I'll see my aunt and my aunt, even though her and her friends bicker all the time, it's literally five of them that stick together that have been friends since like 10. So, and they're now in their 30s and they still have a very strong relationship. So I always like wanted that. So whatever group of girls that we I went to the mall with, I'd be like, oh, yeah, we're, we're friends, we're besties. Like, lo and behold, I was always the, what do I call it? The go-to friend? That, that friend that people only want, I'm like the last resort. You deal with me when you want to deal with me, and I never understood why. And I have some friends, too, that, like I said, only want to talk when it's, you know, positivity. And I understand you don't want you know, negative vibes or negative energy around you all the time. But it's been, (laughs) I'm about to put a little bit more business out there. A time where this girl I thought was like really my friend, legit. She knew everything about me. I knew everything about her. Some stuff that her own older friends that she had didn't know. And when I was with my ex, uh, we were engaged and I asked her to be one of my bridesmaids. When she hit the fan and we broke up, I asked her if she could give me a ride to, like, go get some of my stuff. Now, she told me it was, like, no problem. I'll do it. Whatever you need, no problem. I paid her for, you know, driving me over there and everything. And then after that, I didn't hear from her. And I guess she felt like maybe I was, like, using her or whatever. But I'm, like, I would never, like, do that to you. Like, I'm not ride or die. Like, if you want to go fuck some shit up at some (laughs) Or, you know, or you just need me to simply take you somewhere for whatever reason, I'm not that type of person where I'm going to be like, oh, you only want to use me for this. Because I feel like I'm a very loyal person. So, definitely, all the time, I felt that way. In most cases. Um, I did have a friend a while ago. Well, a childhood friend that we used to bicker all the time. But <laughs> about who did more. It was kind of like a competition. But I learned that we're just too passionate as people. So, well, I know I've have experienced uh, being that, I guess that two second friend. Not that I done it to somebody else, but it had been done to me. I had a friend that I known since uh, wow middle school, but as we got older into adulthood, and I didn't notice at the time. But this person would used to just call me like I guess when her real friends were busy. Yeah, I would get the phone call. So I'm like, oh girl, you want to hang out? You want to do this? You want to do that? And you know, she was the type of friend. 
I'm putting quotations, I know y'all can't see, but <laughs> she was the type of friend that will be like, okay, we're going to go out. Yeah, okay, you know, I'll get the drinks. Yeah, okay, I'll drive and blah, blah, right. blah, 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 blah. So I was like, you know, cool, whatever. You want to be that type of friend. But family members, my mom, and that she noticed that it's like, okay, once I started to, I guess, quote, unquote, come up, and I was like, well, you know, if we're going out, I got you, don't worry about it, don't, you know, I got the drinks, I got the ride, whatever, we can do whatever, I don't know, she, it was like, mm, I don't know, I don't know, like, oh, okay, I thought that we was cool, I've been knowing you forever now, right? but now all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, you know, I can't come, or uh, if I text or whatever, like, hey, you know, let's go out, whatever. Right. No respond, no nothing. Yeah, shit that and, only benefit them. Right, and so anytime I got a call or text from her, it was more so, uh, like I said, I think her original friend that yeah. was supposed to, that she really wanted to go out with was either busy or doing something. Right. So, hey, who? Oh, and see, that me irritates my phone. me because, oh, I, like, I, like I told my one of my managers, um, he asked me, he said, I said, well, what are you looking for in a manager? And he said, I'm looking for somebody who's honest and integrity. And like I told him, even Ryan laughs at me because I'm such an honest person. I probably do like little white lies, like dumb, dumb little white lies. But I'm such an honest person because I want you to be honest with me. So I'm that type that's like, I, I'm very loyal and I'm a very honest friend. So I don't have no interior, you know, ulterior motives when bringing you into my life and so i had this one friend i'm going to put them on blast i'm not going to say their name oh. but i'm gonna kind of put them on blast because oh, shade is coming out <laughs> i'm gonna kind of do this because i don't think that they'll be listening to this episode i don't think they'll even be listening to the podcast but i had a friend that tried to call me out telling me that i only wanted to talk to her when i was going through relationship issues which was dumb bullshit because I was so, so, so thinking that we were, we were almost like family, you know, and, um, paid for her to come out to California for my birthday a few years back, spent the whole, uh, birthday, you know, me and my girlfriend paid for her to stay a whole week. She left early, so we paid for her to leave early, and I understand she was going through some family things. But if we're like family and if we are very, you call, you going around, you know, state saying I'm your best friend, I would expect you to call me and let me know what's going on. She got back to her state from California and to mind you, I paid this girl's whole way throughout the whole, the whole week, which I didn't mind because I'm like, it's my birthday. You're my birthday gift. Basically, she, I did not hear from her at all. And Why then a few, and then a few weeks ago, then she want to say, "Oh, every few months you want to get funny, you want to start acting funny." I'm like, "No, sweetheart," because I realize you only want to fuck with me when it benefits you. You got a free trip out of me and my girlfriend, and a free experience. And when I hit you up just to see, hey, how you doing? Like a real friend should. You say, "Oh, what's wrong?" You, she picked up the phone and was like, "What's wrong now?" You only call me when you got friend when you got relationship issues. And at that point, I was like, "You know what? I'll just talk to you later." And I hung up and like we don't really speak anymore because of you know that whole situation. Sometimes people just like to be around when it benefits them. Period. And that's very, very true. Very, very, very true. I'm sorry that you had to deal with that. <laughs> So funny. But yeah, the friend word is just it's just used too loosely. And I had to learn that in growing up, just dealing with the different people that have come in and out my life. Now at 36, you are not a friend. I don't, you are an acquaintance, you're an associate. You might just be that bitch. And I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't know. Maybe as I've gotten older, you know, my patience is short. I, I don't do too well with people. I mean, my best friend knows that my friend circle is very small. And if I let you into my world or if, yeah, into my friend world, that means I really have gave you that stamp of friendship. And I'm looking to you to be there. Like I said, a loyal friend to me, cause I'm going to be a loyal friend to you. Right. But that word is thrown around so much like, yeah, that's my friend. That's my friend. But your friend is only there when it's time to turn up. Your friend is only there when it's, 
you know, party time. And that, uh, funny enough, a situation happened with my ex-boyfriend and I kind of, in a discussion that we had, I kind of threw it in his face like, you know, he's moving out of his house or whatever at the time and these people that he kept claiming, oh, that's my friend, that's my boy, that's my this, that's my that. None of them people were there. Only person that was there that was helping was like, okay, like, you know, sister, mother, uncle. Mm -hmm. But I was there, you know, I was there help painting, help moving, mm -hmm. bringing boxes and doing stuff like that. But when it was time for him to have that going away party, all oh, the crew showed up. Right. All these knuckles coming out. And I'm like, <laughs> where? Where were you when we're sitting up there oh, yeah, cleaning a all. house? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, after that at all. <laughs> exactly. It's like, okay, where were you when I'm sitting there scrubbing baseboards and right. boxing up shit, staying at this man's house for That's because, days like I said, hours. people want to do shit that benefit them or people want to do stuff that they know they could get something out like, oh, well, I ain't helping you move today unless I'm eating. Are you just going to help because you're really my friend or are you just not going to come because I don't got pizza ready for you when it's time to take a move break? Like, people are so damn simple. People, I don't feel like people know the real definition of what a friend is. And like you said, getting older, you kind of wean yourself off like shit as long as you know if you got kids as long as I have that one good friend as long as I got my partner with me or you know my kids at this point I don't care I don't need a group a crew of 30 I don't need a crew of shit sometimes some people don't even care if they got a crew of five <laughs> I, I mean I'm cool with having a group of three hell yeah. that's probably too much yeah. for me that's probably too much for me like I said my my I got one best friend and then I have friends. And when I call you, like I said, when I, if I call you a friend, that means that you know me ins and outs, period. I do not label people. Like I said, it comes with age. Like, in your 20s, everybody's your goddamn friends. Even in high school, everybody got damn friends. Well, in high school, you might have just walked friend. past them and gave a peace sign one time. Oh, that's my friend. I know that person. But they don't really know nothing about you you really know nothing about them only time y'all know each other is when it's time to have fun and stuff like Shit, that i knew friends like that didn't exist until i graduated high school and even then i knew everybody wasn't your damn friend because in college is where you where they say you do meet that per that people that's going to be in your life and like my roommates i still consider them my friends even though we don't talk every day when we do catch up and talk it's awesome and i know i have lifetime friends within them you know i know that my childhood friends i mean i would still consider them you know a friend from afar but it's not like it used to be you know um Sometimes people grow apart too. That's what other people don't understand. And then some some people you continue to be friends with for thirty plus years. I only got one friend that I've known since I've been in Georgia, and she know who she is. And she's damn near like I don't even call her a friend. She's like that's my sister. I that's how long that we've been knowing each other. And I think we only fell out like once. So that's that's what I'm saying, loyal friends. And I've been in Georgia since the age of nine. So I've been knowing her. We've been to school and whatnot. So that's my that's my type of friend. Somebody I know I could call her and be like, girl, let me tell you what's this. I can tell her good, bad, ugly. We talk about our kids. We talk about everything. So that's loyal friends to me. Like she knows that I got her back and everything. But I also I've I came across. I'm not trying to put anybody's business out there, and I'm not gonna put too much of nobody's business out but one of my other i love talking about my ex-boyfriends <laughs> uh, they're giving me so many you know topics and things but i was just talking to my ex um and i told him that he is too quick to call people friends oh i told and my like, ex that too she i'm knows like that. everybody is not your damn just friend just you sit down smoke with them and play a few video games do not make them your goddamn friend just because you have a Facebook conversation, hit him in a DM, don't make him your friend. <laughs> and I had to tell him, I'm like, you, he's so, like, everybody, like, if he has a two-second conversation with this person, and mind you, it might have been a very good conversation, right. he is so quick to be like, yeah, that's my friend. Yeah, like, yeah oh, my they friend. cool, they cool. That guy, yeah, that he's my friend. And I'm like, 
how is he your friend? That's so funny. It's like, I is your told friend, my I'm ex, like, is your really? friend helping you right now? You're calling me because you got X, Y, and Z going on. Why this right. friend that you have that's, that, that lives closer to you that, you know, you're dubbing as his friend? It's like, why are you calling me? Call your friend. Because we're heaven sent. I am God sent. Thank you, Jesus. And, Hallelujah. You know, God sent us to <laughs> plant our seeds and do that work. Hashtag do the work. Hashtag. <laughs> How many of you not to have this gospel moment? Please excuse. I know it's Sunday. It is Sunday and Jesus is everything. Okay, I got him on the main line. Anyways, <laughs> we want to hear from you guys. You know, we need to we need to hear um, and read some comments. If you have any comments, anything that you want to add, we need to hear from you. Um, yeah, these so-called friends. They're two-second friends is what I call Two-second popcorn friends. No, <laughs> they're just two, two-second friends. But, I mean, you know, we are, we've all had experiences with either being that person that is getting, you know, the... the that feel the wrath of the two second friendship or getting labeled a friend or whatnot. So we've all been in that circle of friends, but I, like I said, I think it just comes with growth. Yeah. It comes with growth. You learn who is really your true friend and who's your, who's not your true friend. I mean, I don't mind having these people in my life that I'm like, I know in my phone, I'm like, okay, I know if I call her, that I know we about, that's my party friend. Well, all I'm saying, she always say is people in your life, for a reason, a season, and a lifetime. I'm still trying to figure that shit out because I got people in There's my life. I'm like, I need an explanation. This is look, but Jesus my ex said this shit. She was like, but I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck. <laughs> exactly. Like, Jesus just just literally send me a toy. You. <laughs> I, I mean, I talked to Jesus. I mean. As much as a potty mouth that I got, and I got some other sins, but that's you know, there's another, 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 another time we talk about right. that. But I, you know, I talked to God, and I'm like, yeah, okay. Okay, some things I understand why, you know, this person was in my life. I truly do. But then there's other songs. I mean, no disrespect. Like, what the fuck, guys? I don't, I don't understand why this person is here. Why are you here? Give me the reason. You can send me an email. Hit me in a DM. Send me a text. I just need to know why these this person, these people come into your life. And then I don't know if it's just. A, a a woman thing or a girl thing that we're so quick to have these friendships or maybe we have I blame the damn TV because they have things like sex in, sex the, city. in the city they girl have girlfriends <laughs> that's what I said I used to sit in my room like damn I want to have friends like that and then me as a kid I had all types of friends so it was like when I did have the black kids they were different then I had the Filipino mixed with the the Asian friend mixed with the the white friend the Italians and it was just like different I'm just like now I can only get all of these people together at one time and we just be a happy crew like on Clueless or something and it just never worked like we got Sex in the City Clueless Moesha they was even a little squad like (laughs) like I said my thing is the the damn TV you know how people were blaming you know how these people are the gangbangers. They blame the rap music. Right. I blame these TV Television. shows. I blame the girlfriends. I blame the Sex and City. Because you couldn't tell me. To this day, that's my only thing. I, I must confess. I would love to have my four or my three girlfriends and have a Sex in the City moment where, you know, one of us would be either the Carrie, the, you know. Oh, hell yeah. Miranda. I'm, I'm not ashamed to say everybody in my life knows that girlfriends and it's so funny because this girl that I'm like talking to for the past few days she literally just wrote me and was like you remind me of Tony from Girlfriends and they used to tell me that in middle school my ex-boyfriend was like you remind you act like Tony and you look like Tony I will I have all the DVDs every season and I will sit here and act like I am the fifth friend and I have no shame in my game because I love no, them. <laughs> I, I, I didn't take it that far. I just thought I it was. I just lived in that nice fantasy. I told fantasy. you I was a loner. <laughs> I just lived in that fantasy world where it was cute to think that I was somewhere in New York with my three friends and we just 
are, you know, walking down in fabulous wear. Right. I didn't. And, and, and every day was a brunch day. Every day. It didn't matter. I know we may have jobs, but I didn't see all that. It was almost like watching Different World going to college. Gave you that perception of yes. that's how college life was going to be, but Turned it really isn't. up, friends still. <laughs> Everybody goes to lay. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, that's the kind of fantasy friends that uh, friend life I would like to have. Shout out to our listener, Vicky. She just wrote us and she said, I follow the same ideal as you two. I treat my friends as delicately, as delicately as I do my actual romantic relationships. That is a very good point. She wrote more, but I'm, I want to point out that is a very good point because I always say that. Treat your, the word relationship is not only pertaining to anything intimate or romantic. You have a family, that's a relationship. I call them family ships. You know, you have your friendships and then you have your romantic relationships. So that is a good point. Um, she also says, are you going to be down for me like I will be down for you? Are you going to, to throw that one time I wasn't able to help you in my, in my face versus 99 times I was there? Um, there's the two to three people I can count on just like they can count on me. The ring outside of that are people I can talk to about not as important issues or events in my life that's going on. The final ring are people that I see in passing that I still care about to a certain extent but won't tell my deepest dark secret to. That is so awesome because that's exactly how I feel. Even my childhood friends, I love them to death and I love them for afar, but it's not the same anymore. So with that being said, we probably won't talk about the same issues unless we have, you know, um, unless we know each other and we can finally like, I don't know, like we can really talk about it, even though it's been years. Um, but that was a good point that Vicky brought up. Treat your relationships Treat your friendships like you treat your relationships as far as how much you reveal, how slow or how fast you take it. And yeah, if you're loyal, I mean, relationships are everything to you, but some people don't give a damn. That's my thing. Loyalty (laughs) and honesty is like... Those, those, I mean, that's my big thing in relationship-wise. Right. As far and um, for friendship. You have to be. Because like she said, if I help you, if the one time I don't help you, no matter how easy or hard the task may be, are you going to throw that? Why are you going to throw it in my face? Are you going to label me a bad friend? Are you going to go tell Tom, Dick, and Harry that, you know, all of a sudden I'm a whack-ass person because I didn't help you move on the day that you needed extra help or I didn't, you know, pick up the phone for whatever reason. Um, That's a very good point. And I'm glad you brought that out. Thank you for listening to us tonight. Listening to us tonight. Anything? (laughs) That was a tongue twister right there for a minute. (laughs) Everybody else, just please. We're on Facebook right now. We're on Instagram. We are on... I'm on Snapchat. My personal Snapchat. (laughs) Snapchat. Insta Snap. Whatever everybody call it. It's Instagram stories though. Okay. Um, what else? Are you we Snapchat on? people crack me up. Sorry. Side note: You Snapchat people get really in your feelings about that Insta Snap, but no, no, that. because I mean, people call it Insta Snap. <laughs> I just call it Snap. I just call it Insta Stories. I don't know. Sorry, you guys. You had to hear this at this <laughs> moment. So <laughs> off for a topic. No, <laughs> so, I'm just yes. saying. I but don't know. you know, we are. Like, full effect, back, and I think it's season two is going to be an interesting season because yes. we're incorporating so many different things, yes. and we definitely want to have more interaction with you guys, and, you know, just talking to us, and we're talking to you, I think we're going to get a lot, you know, a little bit more personal, get to know a little <sighs> us a little bit more on some of these things <laughs> and, you know like we said um before we would like to have you know meet and greets and you know get to know you guys you know faces and face you guys to face no we us. are working on something uh, and when that something uh lines up the way that we want it to we are going to give out the information on our meet and greet um 
to meet you guys and talk and we are this season we are very into um we're looking into not only more topics but we're looking for guests that's what i'm trying to say if you want to be a guest on the show you can email me um or you can dm one of us on either facebook or instagram make sure it's a real topic um we already have topics preset so if you want to be a guest on the show we can send you the topic you can tell us what works for you or if you have a topic that you think that you would be good on talking about you can present it to us and we can talk about you being a guest right and i mean because i mean there's a lot of things that you know we're going to talk about everything but we also like to like interact with you guys so if you guys have you know some you know personal experience that you're going through that you feel like hey it may you know aid to the world or hell help us out or whatever the case may be you know we like to hear that you know if you're like an ayala jr and you want to come you know maybe you can come on the show and fix that and fix my life if you're an expert at something you know (laughs) sex (laughs) food whatever um we're open to have you as well you know parents we're open to have you as well so yeah that wraps up season two's first episode Woo! this was like so exciting you guys we missed you and we will be back next week september 18th is my birthday she's been waiting yes but we will be back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yes, I will be a quarter. And if you don't know what that means, figure it out. Hell, for just say twenty-five. <laughs> Excuse her. She's trying to be fancy on some kind of level. She will be twenty-five. So if you guys want to give her a birthday shout out, she will. Love or send me gifts. I'm still, you know, receiving gifts. Probably all month past the 18th of Sunday. You know, um, send me gifts. I like free stuff. Who don't like free shit? Come on. Now. Don't worry. We'll talk to you guys next week. So we will talk to you guys <laughs> next week at 9 p.m. Be sure to follow, like, download, and everything. And we are soon going to be on iTunes, so keep looking out for that as well. Mm-hmm. Thank you guys, and have a great night. Later. Bye.